Graham Rahal started the Chevrolet Dual I with black primary tires. You can't just follow the leader, said Rahal, who became the first driver to sweep the Detroit Chevrolet Dual races at the Detroit Grand Prix on Belle Isle last year. You got to be your own person. Ray Hall's tactic served him well in the first 44 laps, as he led laps 24 to 25. But then came lap 45. Ray Hall came around turn 13 when his number 15 car slightly hit the curve sending him into the wall. His day was done. It was about the worst hit you could take around here, Ray Hall said. It's unfortunate, because obviously we were going to finish third or worse, and it looks like our competitors are struggling today. Disappointed in myself. Earlier in the race, Ray Hall said he had brushed a wall, which may have played in a role in his crash later in the race. Ray Hall isn't the only one that had trouble on the course, with rookie Santino Ferrisi also crashing out of the race. It's become something drivers are used to when they race in Detroit. More, Scott Dixon scores first win of season at opening leg of Detroit doubleheader. It's a very fine margin around a place like this. You have to get as close as possible to the curve because that's where the grip is, Alexander Rossi said. It's easy to make a mistake. I brushed a wall in practice, too. I brushed a wall in the race. You're constantly searching for that. Scott Dixon led 39 of the 70 laps Saturday, dominating in the pits and perfecting his restarts. It was his first win of the season. Super proud of everybody, Dixon said. We're going to come back and do it all again tomorrow. It would have been nice to celebrate tonight. Dixon has now won a race in 14 consecutive years, breaking the Indy car record. This was also his 42nd career win, which ties him with Michael Andretti for third all-time. He needs 11 more wins to move into second. Despite Belle Isle's status as their virtual home track, Team Penske and Chevrolet struggled on the island on Saturday. Indy 500 champion Will Power finished 7th for Penske and Chevy, with Joseph Newgarden finishing two spots behind him in 9th. They beat us at the Honda Grand Prix at Alabama, didn't they? Rossi joked. This is our revenge. It's like around here, so it's like we're having a pretty good time putting the power down, said Ryan Hunter Ray, who finished just 1.8249 seconds behind Dixon. Whether that's more torque or whether it's drivability, I don't know. I'm not sure, but, Honda, definitely had the stronger package today. Rossi continues to lead Indy Car Series. With his third place finish, Alexander Rossi leads the Indy Car points standings with 276 points. Dixon earned 54 points Saturday, moving him into second with 272 points. Just ahead of power, 269 points. Only 10 races remain in the Indy Car Series season, and right now, Rossi says he is just focused on the road ahead of him. We're still looking for race wins. That's the main goal, Rossi said. Obviously, with four laps to go, I knew I wasn't going to catch Ryan and Scott, so it was just about bringing the car home at that point. Race number one Saturday from the 2.35 mile street course at Belle Isle Park in Detroit, starting position in parentheses. Lap leaders, Andretti 1 to 22, Dixon 23, Ray Hall 24 to 25, Hunter Ray 26 to 31, Dixon 32 44, Hunter Ray 45, Dixon 46 to 70. Point standings, Rossi 276, Dixon 272, Power 269, New Garden 255, Hunter Ray 227, Wickens 202, Ray Hall 191, Bordes 185, Andretti 175, Pajno 168, 